So, guten Tag, Entschuldigung, mein Deutsch ist nicht gut, nur zwei oder drei Worte, so it will be in English. <laughs> so, today I um, will try to show you something about the um, scan to beam and QAQC workflow. I will start just to wise into, and the reason is that between the real world, the real capture, and the virtual, there's a lot of gaps of differences. And I think we will never succeed in having 100% accurate model or drawings for all the pieces. So this is why really capture is filling this gap between both. The landscape, the goal is to be able to have all the scans from any device. Being agnostic, or I like open, to tell the world open, or agnostic, so any kind of device, we can import it, and you can have it in the same project. So of course, depending on the precision of the, of the device you use. And today, a scan for a factory can be up to 5,000 scan positions and uh, terabytes of point cloud data, which make it complex to distribute, to work with, and uh, collaborate finally. So this is why Sintu Core technology is converting your point cloud at the moment you upload it into a 3D mesh. And this is what is streamed on the platform, which is 10 to 20 times smaller than the point cloud by itself. And as you see on the left image, there could be some uh, discrepancies, or you can see really everything good on the mesh. It is a real world, it is surfaces. Oh, sorry. Yeah. So the Sintu platform allows you to collaborate all over the world because you just need an internet connection and a web browser, either Chrome, Firefox, Edge. So it opens the collaboration to anybody. So before it was only to few people who has the correct software, the correct computer. Now any actor of a project can access the data and uh, work with the data. Finally, this enables several uh, uh, use cases and workflows. So the first, the first one is collaboration, navigation. So being able to take measurements on, uh, on the platform, on the meshes, uh, create crops, distribute pieces of point clouds. The second one that we will talk a little bit now more deeper, it's about the visual analysis and quality control. So comparing scan to scan, to scans made at different moments, or scan to a BIM model. And the last one that we uh, issued recently, it's about uh, asset tagging. So to have the ability to recognize some valves, pumps, on directly on the cloud, on the mesh, and associate this with your digital twin platform, uh, electronic document management, or maintenance platform. So some workflows and use cases. <coughs> Just a reminder from all of you, you know about this, uh, this small circle made by Autodesk, but just to show that now the scans, the point clouds, and the platforms can be used quite at all the steps of a project. So it starts by a conceptual de design from an existing building, detailed design, construction, operation and maintenance, but even for demolition or renovation. So now point clouds are used on all the steps and are very useful. Some examples here of a renovation. So what you see on the screen are different images from the mesh, colored mesh from the left side. Now you are able to dimension the existing. So here in this case, it's an existing beam to verify the height. If you need to go with a HVAC uh, uh, network or ducts, you can check your height under beam, so the floor map, but also now comparing the 3D model to the existing. So the left-hand side image has been done, compared a model that was created from drawings, 
existing drawings and the reality is that you see in red, this is a B model, in yellow the scan, you have some discrepancies and differences. So when you have a few centimeters difference, it can be a blocking point. On the bottom part, what you can see is from existing uh, like ducts, so being able to find the position of a duct or an opening in, in the civil work. So the idea here is that you can crop this piece of existing and make your design exactly to get to the correct tying point. But you are not obliged to remodel all the existing. You can use a point cloud as the reference and just put a new beam model for new equipments or new pipes inside your mesh and check about some clash or connections that you want to make on this uh, existing pipes or, or, or wall. So these are uh, real cases of ducts not aligning. So by using the scans, even in new construction, when you are doing the civil works, the penetration on the walls are done. You can scan quickly with a mobile device and then have the position and the size of this reservation and then adapt your design, your duct design, to go through this position and not the, the one that was theoretical position. So you can compare, of course, once again, model to, to scan or two versions of scans. And on the right side, <coughs> on the left side, sorry, you see that the delta between the scan and the 3D model below the beam was about seven centimeters. So, which can make you a lot of changes, a lot of delay on your project. So when you can have it before, you can solve the problem and not on site. And of course, on the on scan to beam for the as built, so you can go scan your ongoing construction, so like this map one uh, on the bottom, and compare it, overlay it with the scan. I have also a tolerance view and extract all this data to update your as built model. And this is the main point uh, I would say on the scan to beam workflow. A lot of people are, are willing to, to make automatic model from the scans. It's not yet the complete case at the moment. And uh, on the scans, you only have what you see. So if it's hidden by uh, another thing, so for example, a pipe who has uh, insulation on top of it, you will have the insulation, you will not have the pipe. So to remodel the pipe, it's more difficult when you don't have it in the scans. And one thing which is important, and I think it's coming more and more, but it's to use the scans at every step of the construction. Not only waiting for the end of the construction to make one scan, but once civil is finished on first floor, make a scan for your reservation. Then they'll go to second floor. But when your map network is done on the first floor, make a scan because you will not be hidden by the other networks and you will have your steps, all the steps that will allow you to make your BIM as built model on reality. So just to finish, uh, today SIN2 is uh, already used by more than 400 companies uh, in four different countries. We reach 4 million scans uploaded to the platform, uh, more than 25 models uploaded, uh, 50,000 users, so we are scalable. We have a lot of uh, different industrial or, or also uh, uh, ASC companies using SIN2. So feel free to visit us. We are just here, straight.